I decided to stick with four legs per motor so Charlotte would only have two motors. Even if two legs per motor improve some aspects of Charlotte's performance slightly, I'm basically doubling the weight of the robot. I now have built-in knowledge of all of the parameters needed to redesign Charlotte. I was able to print one leg whose design is based off of the results from all the optimizations, so it's pretty flexible. But there are actually more flexible materials out there. And that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, PCB. Stereo lithography uses ultraviolet light to cure a resin into a solid. And you can do this with resins that are actually really flexible once they're cured. Luckily, PCBWay offers this technology and a really flexible material and it seems like it has some pretty good reviews. So all I have to do to get a super flexible leg from PCBWay is export this leg design as an STL file, then simply drag it into PCBWay's interface, answer a couple questions, and we're good. 